Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com. Still here in Sakus Urhal covering the Estelol 2019 for all of you in ESCplus.com. Here I have Ukus who is there with the song Pretty Little Liar. He will perform it tomorrow night in the final of the contest, aiming to represent Estonia at the Eurovision this year. How do you feel, Ukus? How was it? Thank you so much. I feel pretty good <laughs> right now. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, stepped into stage like a few minutes ago. How yeah. do you feel? Well. That was actually the final rehearsal. Rehearsal. Now we have uh, only a couple of run-throughs before the final event, and then the last changes we wanted to do. We we, we did them, and uh, hopefully everything will pan out well. Okay. How much do you like the screens and the stage and the concept this year in Estelol? Because it's improved a lot since the past I few years. I do like, and uh, especially here in Sakusulhan, I think the. The, the size and, and, and uh, the people in the audience and uh, and the lighting and, and, and everything I think it's very good for for, for that event and everyone has done a, a good job and a lot of things improved a lot of things they're trying to test if, if they work and I think they're good, doing a good job I enjoy myself on the stage and okay. with, with, the, with the whole crew so okay and how important is for you as an Estonian artist to, to participate in an event like this? And how important is Estilal to the music industry here in Estonia for you? I can't deny that, that Eurovision at all is, uh, is going to change a lot for any song ever written. Mm -hmm. so, and hopefully for the better. So you can't just... It, it definitely plays a, plays a role. How much each artist or a writer wants to go there and thinks that's the, their way, it depends. But uh, surely, well, I think my song, for example, w since when I when I wrote it, I, I, I which was time ago, I uh, decided not to release it. And uh, Estela was supposed to be the only way it, it ever goes somewhere, unless okay. I just perform it to somebody. <laughs> so now it did. Okay. So I'm just thankful for that that it happened. If because it goes further, I'm, I'm very glad. Because it's not the first time you take part in Estilaul and mm -hmm. you are still seeing it as a platform for, for yourself. I think any competition is a platform and this is a huge platform for okay. for any uh, direction an artist or writer wants to go. Okay, and how did the song came up? How, how did you create the song? How was the process of the song creation, the message? What do you want to deliver with it? Uh, it, it, it happened quite fast. The, 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 the music part happened really fast. And I usually feel when, when these, thing hap these things happen too fast mm -hmm. that uh, uh, they are most organic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what didn't happen fast was the lyrics. Mm -hmm. because I, I, I did come up with the lyrics uh, right when I wrote it, but I, I, I called it fire. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the overall idea was the same, but, but uh, I wanted to go more specific, and we rewrote the lyrics a couple of times too. That that I felt that okay, this is this is it. And what do you think, Pretty Little Liar, is the is the right one to go into Eurovision, or is the right one to participate in Estelle all this time? And you th and the others didn't have much luck as as Pretty Little Liar is having this year. The other songs that you competed with in the past. Uh, one of the songs that got to the semi-final was not written by me uh, and it got disqualified so uh, and the second one uh, was uh, Supernatural well uh, I submitted Pretty Little Liar the same time as I submitted Supernatural as well uh, and, and the other one was picked so Ooh. I felt like how is it possible? Like okay. one song I see exactly on that stage, the other one I see very well, for example, in a, well, in a radio play. Well, uh, it didn't happen. The okay. other one was, 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 was chosen, so well, <laughs> maybe that's the answer to me. Okay. When I asked, why this one? Well, now I submitted this one and this one went. So uh, yeah, well, when we produced it with Oliver, Oliver was the uh, producer of the song, um, we had a big stage, kind of like Eurovision in mind. So we believe the sound and, 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 uh, and the song is good for this kind of big, big, big stage. Yeah.
Okay, and you've been tipped as one of the favorites to win it and go to represent Estonia. So now the World Eurovision starts to count a bit and starts to feel a little bit closer. How do you approach the thing and how do you think, why do you think people tip you as a favorite and uh, believe in you to represent the whole country? The one who proves himself tomorrow uh, will have the chance and, uh, and obviously uh, a lot of people already saw the semi-final and the videos and, and other performances and they probably have their favorites in, in mind. And, um, uh, but when it comes to going to Eurovision, I think that's gonna... Uh, I don't think that far, probably. I, I, I think step by step and the most important thing is to do well on that stage tomorrow mm -hmm. and the way we plan to do it. So, yeah. Okay. It was really nice talking to you. Do you have any words to say to our viewers? Maybe you have to announce any some projects in mind that you are going to any further singles or I don't know things uh, you want to say to the international community there. The thank you, guys. Thank you all of you who uh, are gonna watch SD Loud and uh, who are with us. And uh, I wish you a wonderful time. Don't get cold because it's cold in Estonia a little bit. And uh, I wish you good luck. Um, yeah, good luck. For I wish you all good music, and then thanks for supporting. Thank, thank you, everyone.